Hello, welcome back to your favorite entertainment channel, Info West 24. This is the Hustler. So, we got Tony here in the building. Yeah, he was doing an interview and explained about some of the 50 cent beef he had back in the days and how he was involved. It was scary, man. 50 had beefs with everybody. We were bad guys, Tony Yayo said. He also went on and said and said that Jaru was not a street nigger as he claimed. He was just faking, Tony Yayo said. So here is Yayo talking about 50 Cent Beefs and Jaru's situation. Listen, don't forget to like, subscribe to this amazing channel for more entertainment efforts. Tony Yayo, check this out, yo. Enjoy. For me, you gotta understand, me coming up as a kid, I listened to Fat Joe, Jealous One's Envy. I listened to Wu-Tang, 36 Chambers. Dun, 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 dun. So they looked at it like when we came up and we was like in battles and dissing, because everybody had beef for 50. Right. But like, you gotta understand, it's the nigga I came up with, so I was riding with him, but that don't mean I wasn't a fan of Wu-Tang, mm -hmm. Fat Joe, DMX, anybody. I was a fan of everybody, but we always, I, I look at G-Unit, we always was the bad guys. Bro, I never looked at Ja Rule and them as like real street niggas. Ja Rule probably showed a little bit crack, but he never had the block or nothing. Irv wasn't like in the streets. Like, no disrespect to them niggas. I don't care for them niggas. They, you know, it's forever fuck you and forever fuck me. I don't care. You know, because I, I fuck with 50 till the day I'm not here. But I never heard of Ja Rule. Like, 50 was in them streets. He was out there. We was outside. You know what I mean? <laughs> We was in the parties with Grandmaster Vic. We was in the parties that was getting shot up. We was in the building. 134 was looking good at that time. 134 and God Brewer. 